Welcome back to Eddie's Speed Garage, I'm Ed. Today we're in my 2019 Honda Pilot. I've had it for two years now, 26,000 miles on it. I love, the, I love it, it does everything I need it to do, except there's one thing that I would make better if I could, and I can, so I will. Stay tuned. All right, folks, this is what I'm talking about here, this piece. So, it, I mean, it catches a lot of spills and all that other stuff, so it does get quite a bit of abuse, but the one thing it doesn't do is clean well. And I'm not sure if you can see it there, but the more you clean it, the more the finish starts to come off of it. So what I'm going to do is I bought some carbon vinyl wrap, and we're going to recover this today. Let's stick around. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this little tab here and pull this mat out. And you'll see that there's two screws there. Phillips screws, we'll just unscrew them and get them right out of there. All right, next we're just gonna slide this back and we're gonna shallow grab this and pop it up. You just wanna grab the, the thickness there. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna lift this all the way up and you're gonna notice there's some connectors here. This one's not plugged into anything. I don't know what it's for, but we're gonna have to unplug this here and pull these two plugs off in order to get this out of the car. And then there's a little tab there, just slip back, whole thing is free. So what we're gonna wanna do next is we're gonna have to deconstruct this in order to get this piece out. All right, so this is the pattern I chose. If you put it up against there, it's pretty close in color. And we're gonna get started taking this console apart. So first, we're gonna remove the switch here and then we'll move to this piece of trim. We'll go to the cup holders and probably this part here and then the sides. So it's just a couple of screws here. Switch is free. Carry the screws over with that. out. We're just going to go all the way around this thing and take it all apart. Now we're down to the piece that we wanted to be down to. All right, so next I'm just gonna clean this up. I'll just use a little cleaner degreaser and then we'll be ready to start applying the vinyl. All right, so I got a couple of things here to make my life easier. I got a heat gun, which you could probably use just a regular blow dryer and scissors and an X-Acto knife to do the cutting for me. All right, so first things first, we got our vinyl, measure it out, I do a little extra. So you can always take some away, but you can't ever put it back.
And by the way, this vinyl came from Amazon, and it was only 10 bucks for a one by five, five foot roll. So let's double check it again, make sure the size is right. Plenty of extra on both sides. So we're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is separate the vinyl from the backing. And then I will double check what that is. I think that's a little chip. Take this and lay it past where I need it to be. And then I will roll the rest of it out. Just like that. And since I cut way, way too much, I'm going to take some more off. So I'm not gonna lie, this would probably be easier with two people. But now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this back. And try to get it to lay down. Nice and flat on my flat panel pieces. This vinyl has air releasing technology, it says. So it's a little bit more forgiving. First, I'm going to cut a little relief down the center of this. start stretching some stuff out. So what I mean by stretching is I'm going to heat the vinyl, make it more pliable, and 
And then we're gonna give her Starting to cool off, so there's nothing wrong with eating her again. You want to be careful how much you stretch this stuff because then you start throwing your pattern off.
just to drop my screws. Last corner here. Pick up screws. Put one on there. Right. So let's work on the centers now. Okay, I'm starting to take shape. See how much memory that vinyl has? It was right back to where it used to be. At this point, we're pretty much done. I'm going to start trimming off the edges, getting it ready to reassemble. So here we are with the final piece. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble it now. Um, pretty pleased with the outcome. If I had to do anything different during this, I probably would have had an extra set of hands. But other than that, the reassembly is the opposite of the disassembly. So be right back. All right, here's the piece, final assembly. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna go shove this in the car now and I'll show you that. All right, so to get it back together, we just gotta kinda slide her back into place some. 
We're going to snap these clips back in. And then we'll come back here and we'll plug the traction button in. All right. Push that forward. Push that down. Now we'll put our two screws in. panel back in place and we're done all right so we'll let you decide that is the final look i think it looks fantastic i also think it looks better than the original did still goes with the interior but anyways like and subscribe i'll keep making videos if you keep watching them and we'll see you next time